Hey guys, it's Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. I'm in the car today, so I really am cruising with wheels. But I'm on my way to the store. Why, you might ask? Frank has given me a list, and he needs all this for the video he's gonna do for you right now. Hey YouTube fans, Dr. Frank is in the house. No, seriously, I'm not a real doctor. I only play one on YouTube. Today we're going to show you what we bring in Dr. Frank's goodie bag. So now I've unpacked everything in Frank's doctor's bag and I'm going to take you through one by one the top 12 items that we include in it when we go on our cruise. Now, number one, our first item is a basic Band-Aid box. It is an assortment of Band-Aids and gauze, medical tape, some antibiotic ointment, and some antibiotic cleansing cloths. Very basic, you can pick it up at any drugstore or grocery store. Now, number two on the list which is probably one of the most important things we have, motion sickness medicine. Now, one of our subscribers, Janet Tiff, asked about what we use. And Kevin uses Motion Ease. It's a liquid. You put a dab of liquid on your finger and dab it behind your ears. Now, Kevin tells me within five minutes, he felt so much better. Now, we bought this on the ship because we didn't expect Kevin to get sick. You can buy it locally, we have found out, for less than half the price of what you're gonna pay on the ship. So be prepared and have it in your doctor's bag before you leave. Number three, pain relief. Now Kevin uses Tylenol. And whether it's Tylenol or you use Bayer, whatever it is you use, you wanna have it with you. You know, you're out and about uh, on the ship, you're in the hot sun, you're in port, you know, you can really get what I call those beating sun headaches and you're really going to need something to relieve the pain. I know after a long day, I want nothing but to go to my room and take a quick little lie down with some pain relief. Number four, over-the-counter allergy medicine. You don't want to be stuffed up and drippy during your entire cruise. So, be prepared. Bring some allergy meds with you. Number five, sunburnt. This is what we use, this particular brand we bring with us. So if you haven't put enough suntan lotion on yourself and you've been out in that hot sun and you get a little red and burnt, you don't want to suffer all day. Have some sunburnt cream. And don't forget those luscious lips of yours because you really need to protect them. And we use chapstick, my favorite cherry. You want your lips to be soft and supple so it doesn't ruin your trip, whether you're drinking a Mai Tai on the beach or eating dinner or maybe a little canoodling afterwards. Next on our list, we have some basic stomach medicine, and this is what I use. I like Pepto-Bismol. Some people hate it. I adore it. I have it in liquid form in my refrigerator, and I take the tablets on vacation. So whether it's Pepto-Bismol, Tums, or Rolaids, if you've got a little agita after lunch or dinner, you're going to need something. Next on the list, throat lozenges. Nothing worse than if you all of a sudden developed a sore throat. You don't want to suffer. Be prepared. It's just like being home and going to your medicine cabinet, but have it with you. 
And next on the list, cough drops. Whether you're on the plane to your destination, whether you're watching one of the shows in the theaters on the, on the ship, you don't want to be coughing away, disrupting everybody. Bring along some cough drops. I have my favorite honey lemon and my cherry. Next in our medical bag, you have basic cotton swabs. Used for a variety of things, from cleaning your ears to applying ointments and creams. Never want to leave home without them. Also, what I include, and maybe you might not think about it, it's a basic nail kit with files and nail clippers and an assortment. But the most important thing in this nail kit are tweezers. If you get a sliver or something happens, whether it's on your hand or in your eye, you need a pair of tweezers to take care of the problem. So why not have it and also have everything else you might need for basic grooming. Last of the top 12 is a basic thermometer. If you're feeling a little sick, you're feeling a little queasy, you're not sure whether it's you know, a little seasickness or whether you're actually coming down with something, a very inexpensive thermometer is what I have in my medical bag. Very small, very compact, doesn't take up a lot of room. Now those are the top 12 items that we include in our first aid kit. But I also want to make a special note that along with all these over-the-counter items, we also include something special and that's for Kevin. And it's EpiPens. Now Kevin is allergic to bees. So he gets a prescription from his doctor to get some EpiPens, which we take with us in our little Frank's medical bag. God forbid if we're on the island and he gets stung by a bee and goes into anaphylactic shock, Dr. Frank is going to be ready with the EpiPen to bring him back to life. So put this in your bag. Now, that's all I've got for you. I hope this is helpful. On behalf of Kevin and myself in Cruising with Wheels, we're going to see you soon on the high seas, so travel safe and cruise often. Hey! I heard the house. Hello. Hello. Hey! I forgot what I was going to say. Hey! I'm in an anaphylactic shop. Hey! I'm dropping stuff. Hey! Sound check. Hey! Oh Jesus, I'm exhausted.